Hi Pisces, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of June 17 to June 23rd, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Pisces, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of Pisces in regards to love for this week. Pisces. What's the energy of Pisces in regards to love for this week? All right, so the Four of Swords wanted to show itself here in your energy um, some of you are like in hermit mode this week you're being very quiet you're being very withdrawn in your energy some of you are healing um, some of you are feeling sick I hope not and you're recovering yeah you're you're healing and you're recovering some of you are taking some time off um, I'm also getting like meditating, clearing out your mind, clearing out your energy, trying to become more balanced within yourself. Tell me more about the energy of Pisces spirit in regards to love for this week. All right, so we... We have the three of pentacles here. Some of you are taking some, some time off from work. Or you feel like you need to take some time off from work. Or you're going to take some time off from work. Tell me more about the energy of Pisces in regards to love for this week. Alright, so we have page of cups in the reverse. You're keeping your feelings to yourself. Some of you are like connecting to a friend or um, you're entertaining like casual friendships or casual connections. Um, this could also be work. Um, some of you are like thinking about work that you need to do or work that you want to do. You might, some of you are making plans for the things that you want to accomplish or create or work on. I feel like you're putting love on the back burner is what I'm getting. Yeah, Knight, yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse here. Hmm. In regards to love, it kind of looks like there is a relationship here that's not really going anywhere. It's not, it's not moving forward. It's, it's basically at a halt, stagnant and at a halt. Um, there's no communication between the two of you. And I feel like you're keeping, you're keeping it that way. You're intentionally keeping it that way because you really just want to focus on on getting better, I, I keep getting that. You're, you're focused on getting better. Again, like some of you might not feel well. So you're focused on getting better. Uh, physically, mentally, emotionally. I also feel like you're focused on like your responsibilities or like work that you need to do, work that you need to take care of. I feel like you're also doing that. You're, you're accomplishing your own tasks or chores or, you know, projects that you need to complete. Uh, school or studies. Uh, some of you are training. You're going through some sort of training or learning something. 
it feels good to be honest with you Pisces I feel like your energy feels good your energy feels like it's it's balanced I feel like you're successfully um, creating balance in your life is what I'm getting yeah I feel like this relationship that is not doing so well here with the page of cups and the knight of pentacles in reverse I feel like by you distancing yourself from this relationship it's helping you also it's helping you feel better is what i'm getting let me look at this four of swords because i feel like this is you spirit tell me about the four of swords please connect it to pisces tell me about the four of swords connected to the energy of pisces please oh yeah five of cups some of you suffered some sort of heartache or um, heartbreak or disappointment in the past. And like I said, you're, you're healing from that. You're getting better from that. Tell me more about the Four of Swords connected to Pisces. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands showing up here. And we have the Page of Swords. I feel like someone's watching you. You know someone's watching you. You can feel it or sense it or you just know it. Someone's keeping tabs on you. Someone's spying on you. Someone is like wanting your attention and I feel like you know. You know they want your attention. But I feel like you're very determined to not give them your attention. You're very determined to avoid contact with this person and just you know focus on yourself and focus on your healing on your own personal healing it's interesting though because you are showing up as a queen of wands male or female doesn't matter the gender so this person that's watching you i feel like this is someone who you care about Yeah, I'm definitely getting that this is someone who you care about. This is someone who who you have a lot of feelings for. Um, this is someone who you're attracted to as well, is what I'm getting. But you feel like it's in your best interest to avoid contact with this individual and to just focus on your own personal healing. You're doing what you feel is best for you, but you're not doing what you want. You're doing what's what you feel is best for you. Because I feel like you want this person. Whoever this person is that's watching you, I feel like you want them. But it, it wouldn't be smart is what I'm getting. It wouldn't be a smart decision or an intelligent decision for you to entertain. Sorry, for you to entertain this person or entertain this relationship. So um, you're being strong in resisting any temptation or desire to, to connect with this person that's watching you and spying on you. You know what they want also. I feel like you know what they want. You know what they're looking for. You know that they want you to reach out to them also. You know that that's something that they're waiting for, for you to reach out to them, but you're not going to give them that. You're not going to give them what they want. I feel like you're in this energy of keep, keep, keep watching me, keep, keep stalking me, you know? I, I don't care. I'm not I'm not going to react. I'm not going to react to you watching me or, or stalking me. So keep doing it because because I'm not I'm not going to respond to you. I feel like that's your energy. I'm not going to respond to you. I don't care what you do or what you say. I'm not going to respond. I'm I'm all about myself. And and what's good for me. And you feel like this person is not good for you. 
And why is that? I'm just curious. Let me just ask that. Why does Pisces feel like this person is not good for them? This Page of Swords person. Spirit. Why does Pisces feel like this person is not good for them? So we have the moon in the reverse. Some sort of secret was revealed about this person or secrets were revealed. The truth came out about this person. What truth? Tell me about the moon. Why, why the moon in reverse? All right, we have the star. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so you felt like this person was, you feel like this person is an illusion? Like that's what they're good at doing? You feel like they're really good at creating illusions with the star card? Yeah. That's why you feel like this person is not good for you. You feel like this person, um, there's no realness to them. It's all fantasy and illusion. It's all like uh, smoke. What do you call that? Smoke? Smoke and mirrors. This person's all smoke and mirrors. It's like you feel like they're a trap, like um, moving towards them, heading towards them would be like heading towards a trap. Okay. So it just kind of looks like in the past this person, um, made you think they were something, made you think that they were something that they weren't, or um, gave you false hope, they gave you false, yeah, they gave you false hope. Yeah, it's like every time you, um, you think, things are going to work out between the two of you, it, it quickly falls apart. This person might be really good at love bombing is also what I'm getting. And that's also what creates this illusion for you. Cause they're very good at love bombing or sweet talking or, 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 you know, charming you is what I'm getting. All right, let's see their energy for the week towards you. Yeah, let's see. All right, spirit angels and guides, what's this person's energy towards Pisces for the week, please? What's the energy of the person Pisces is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week? All right, Pisces, looking at this person's energy towards you. First card we have here, ooh, the Emperor. I see, okay. Tell me more about, okay, this person wants to control you, is what I'm getting. That's what they're, that's what they're wanting to do. That's why they're watching you and spying on you because they're, they're looking to see how they're going to control you. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Pisces for this week. So we have the Six of Swords. And we also have Temperance here. At the bottom of the deck, Hermit in the reverse. Okay. Yeah, this is someone who wants to break the silence with you, um, Pisces, with the Hermit card in reverse. They definitely want to break the silence and they definitely want to um, move this relationship with you from turbulent waters, from unstable waters 
towards calmer waters um, and more peaceful waters. With the temperance card, this person wants to um, balance things out with you. With the Six of Swords and Temperance, they want to balance things out. They want to they want to transition this relationship from negative to positive. They want to experience a reconciliation with you. Temperance card many times is a reconciliation, wanting to like make amends, um, create forgiveness, have a second chance. And with the Hermit card, this person definitely um, wants to get out of the dark. They want to get out of the dark. This person feels like you're punishing them is also what I'm getting. They feel like you're punishing them. They feel like that's you're you're closing yourself off to them because you're punishing them because of something they did to you in the past. Yeah, I don't I don't know about this Pisces. I feel like why do I feel like you two are going to get back together, Pisces? Because I'm really getting that strongly. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that like very, very strongly. Especially how you're showing up here. With the moon and the star, with the Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles. You're distracting yourself. You're keeping yourself busy. You're keeping yourself occupied. You're distracting yourself, but underneath the surface, it's like you still feel uh, a magnetic attraction to this person or like a magnetic pull towards them. And I feel like they're that, that's also because they're pulling on your energy, uh, Pisces, with the Emperor card. This person is pulling at you. With the Emperor, yeah, yeesh. With the Emperor and the Temperance card, they're, they're, they're strongly pulling at you to, to connect with them again. This person doesn't want to lose you. I feel like they're obsessed with you. Why, do I, why am I getting the devil here? I'm getting like a devil energy. I feel like this person's um, completely obsessed with you and infatuated with you. I don't know, not infatuated, obsessed, obsessed. It's, I feel like they're looking at you like you belong to them. You're mine, Pisces. You're mine. You belong to me. You and I belong together. You're not going anywhere. I feel like that's what they're saying. You're not going anywhere, Pisces. You're not going anywhere. Don't even think about it. You're not going anywhere. I'm not going to let you. So you tell me about this um, emperor energy, male or female, doesn't matter the gender. It could be an Aries, doesn't have to be, could be any sign. We also have Sagittarius here in Virgo and Aquarius. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you know, I feel like this person's fighting for you with the Seven of Wands in reverse, but they're being like very strategic about it. They're being very um, underhanded. I don't know if that's the right word, like, like discreet. Discreet, subtle, not underhanded. They're being discreet, subtle, quiet, strategic. What is this person doing? I feel like this person is trying to like leer you or something or like. You know what, I, what I'm noticing also, Pisces? This person looks to me like they know you, like the back of their hand. I'm also picking up on that. This person feels like they know you. They know exactly what to do, exactly what to say. They know what's going to get you angry or what's going to make you feel upset and what's not going to make you angry or upset. It's like they're playing chess here. They're playing chess with you. 
they're being patient with the temperance card also. They're being very, very patient. It's like this person knows that they can't push you. They can't push you. They can't pressure you. They can't make you feel like, like anything is forced on you. So they're strategically avoiding making you feel that way. They're, it's like they're, str they're strategically being calm, calm and peaceful and patient and, you know, soft and understanding. And it's like they're trying to lull, lull you like a lullaby, you know. They're trying to lull you, L-U-L-L, -L, lull you like a lullaby. towards them. I honestly feel like it's going to work, but I mean, cuz I'm just looking at your energy. I don't I don't see you truly being detached from this person. I feel like you're trying to detach yourself, but I feel like there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of chemistry there's a lot of attraction and this person seems to like i like i said they seem to know you like they're back of their hand they're also they it also looks like there's a deep spiritual connection between the two of you as well so it does look like you two could be potentially potentially spiritual soulmates or karmic soulmates is what i'm getting and yeah tell me about this um uh, oh i did uh, I, I clarified the emperor. Tell me about temperance, spirit, please. It's like, I'm going to fight for Pisces by not fighting for Pisces. That's how I'm going to get Pisces back. By not fighting for them is how I'm going to get them back. By being respectful and and considerate and patient and understanding, that's how I'm going to get Pisces back. Respectful more than anything. Tell me about temperance and their energy. Magician in reverse. Yeah, I'm not going to try to manifest anything. I'm telling you, that's that that's their that's their thing here. Like, that's what they're doing. Like, they're doing everything so that everything possible to not make you feel pressured, forced, or, you know, pushed. It's like they're giving you your time, you know, letting you have your, letting you have your own time and space apart until they feel like okay enough time has passed by this is my opportunity but this is my chance to to take action now it's like they want you to feel their absence first they're trying to accentuate their absence if that makes sense all right so, Pisces, I'm going to stop the reading right here, and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at this person here. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take toward you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.